This is California's Central Valley, a large flat region stretching approximately 450 miles through the center of the state. It's home to industry, thriving cities, and some of the nation's most productive agricultural land. The region depends on a system of levees, bypasses, and reservoirs to reduce the probability of floods, damaging millions of dollars of property and causing loss of life. The northern part of the Central Valley is part of the Sacramento River watershed, and the southern part of the valley is part of the San Joaquin River watershed. Floodwaters from both watersheds flow into the Sacramento and San Joaquin Delta before flowing into the San Francisco Bay and ultimately the Pacific Ocean. As a result, flood risk in the Delta is affected by flood runoff originating in both watersheds. Historically, as seasonal runoff from nearby mountain ranges flowed into the valley, it would spill over its riverbanks and pool for miles across the valley floor, essentially making it an inland sea. This was a natural occurrence for thousands of years. When settlers moved into the rich and fertile valley in the mid-1800s, they immediately began efforts to manage flooding. Early efforts were focused on building levees to confine floods to defined channels. This resulted in areas being flooded less often, but also increased stages and depths elsewhere. These early efforts lacked coordination and often led to disputes over induced damages between landowners. In the early 1900s, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers began working with state and local agencies to reduce flood risk in the Central Valley. Close coordination throughout the decades since has resulted in a combination of federal, local, and state-owned components that reduce flood risk within the San Joaquin Valley. Flood risk management starts in the upper watershed of the San Joaquin River, where 12 reservoirs provide dedicated flood storage space during the flood season. These reservoirs act like shock absorbers for the downstream rivers and channels. When possible, floodwaters are temporarily stored by the reservoirs and slowly released at the downstream channel capacity. Additionally, these multi-purpose reservoirs transition from dedicated flood storage space to water conservation space to store spring snowmelt for irrigation and hydropower. At the upstream end of the San Joaquin Valley, floodwaters leave the mountains and flow into the San Joaquin River where they are diverted into the Chochilla and Eastside Bypass system. This levee bypass system was constructed parallel to the San Joaquin River to a point upstream from the Merced River. Reaches downstream of the Merced River are part of the Federal Lower San Joaquin River and Tributaries Project. The project was authorized in 1944 and extends to the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. In addition to the bypasses, the project consists of levees, channelization, and bank stabilization. Downstream of the Stanislaw River, the San Joaquin River becomes a distributary stream with flows splitting off from the main channel at Paradise Cut and Middle River. The remaining portion of the San Joaquin River flows past the city of Stockton. The reach below Stockton is maintained as part of the Federal Stockton Deep Water Ship Channel Project. Multiple streams that drain the western slopes of the Sierra Mountains within this reach result in a complex region of co-mingled sources of potential flooding. Many of the San Joaquin River flood risk management features were built nearly a century ago using typical construction methods available at that time. These methods have significantly improved due to advancements in technology and experience during past flood events. Over the last 25 years, engineers have gained a better understanding of how levees fail. Under seepage, through seepage, instability and erosion are the primary failure modes that can often occur with little to no warning. The vulnerability of levees to these modes of failure was very apparent during the 1955, 1986, and 1997 floods, and the most recent 2017 high water year, where portions of the city of Stockton came dangerously close to catastrophic flooding. The San Joaquin Area Flood Control Agency, or SAJAFCA, is a joint powers authority and local agency created in 1995 to manage flood risk for the city of Stockton and surrounding county area. They have been working hand in hand with the Corps of Engineers through a series of cost share agreements and projects to improve the levees in the region and reduce residual flood risk. The Corps, SAJAFCA, and the State of California's Central Valley Flood Protection Board are seeking federal authorization for additional levee improvements within the Lower San Joaquin River Feasibility Study Area. If approved and authorized, construction will address the geotechnical and erosion problems affecting the levees within the urbanized region and help reduce flood risk for over 160,000 residents.